on pure political re for pure political reasons, he's selling it off in order not to be forced to build it. Here's what he said in 2020. Remember, on um, build that wall. Are you willing to tear that wall down? No, I'm, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. What's going on, guys? Hey, I wanted to bring you a story um, about the border wall. It looks like the Biden administration is making a full reversal on the border wall. They are understanding, finally, they are understanding the importance of a low-tech, you know, just wall. <laughs> big, big-ass wall. They understand the importance of it. And again, I wonder if it's racist if they're putting it up. I wonder if it's racist. You know, I wonder if it's um, xenophobic with them putting it up. You know, I, I don't know. I would think it's probably not because, again, we have to understand they're Democrats. They're Democrats. They're leftists. They're not racist. I, again, they're not xenophobic. They're good people. They're good, compassionate folks. Sitting there at Starbucks or their mocha lattes, whatever the freak that is. Um, I got to watch my language. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you would, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And, uh, you're down there in Texas with the border, and the border is our yeah. lead story today because... The Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, Mr. Mayorkas, apparently snapped out of it and realized, wait, there's like a gazillion people flooding into the country. And now they're announcing that there's an immediate need to build 17 miles of border wall in Starr County, Texas, because of illegal entry. Now, this was initially announced in June. It's part of what Joe Biden, though, announced in his inauguration. Essentially, they're ending the diversion of border money from military projects and using actual money that Congress appropriated for stuff like this. Yeah, the DHS, uh, they posted this announcement and uh, outlining just where this construction would be in Starr County, like you said, Steve. It's part of a very busy border patrol sector, seeing very high illegal entry. 245,000 illegal entries have been recorded this fiscal year in the Rio Grande Valley sector, and that contains 21 of these counties. So everyone was shocked when they heard uh, Alejandro Mayorkas say this. He said there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States. That is a sharp contrast yeah. to the early days of this administration. Uh, I Man, it's got to be pretty humbling to admit that you was wrong. <laughs> Joe Biden, he was wrong. And, you know, we, we don't see a lot of folks really, really, truly wanting to admit that they're wrong. I'm not saying Joe Biden really truly wants to admit that he's wrong. I'm not saying he does, but his approval numbers of the way he's handling things at the southern border are in the the gutter. They truly are. I think I think it's up around twenty percent. Twenty percent approval of the way he's handling things at the southern border. And uh, we have, we have truly got to be honest, man. <laughs> You know, that, that, that wall, a wall at the south of the border, 30, 50-foot wall, yeah, that's not going to stop everyone, but it's going to stop quite a few. It is. We have truly got to recognize that. And it might, it might be just a wall, low-tech, but low-tech works. <laughs> I mean, again, well, I mean, what, what is the best way that you would secure your house? Locks. Door locks, man. You shut and lock the door. Low tech. You know, is that going to keep everyone out? No. But it's going to make it very difficult for somebody to get in. You know, or, or at least someone to get in without making a bunch of noise. So, we have truly got to recognize, man, there's something to be said about low tech. And we need, we need a wall. At that southern border, we need to secure that border. And again, folks that uh, that said that we need a border wall, like myself, like you know, again, we're racist. We're bad people. You know, again, we're we're uncompassionate. No, no, we're compassionate. We just understand. We're more practical. We understand 
that we can't help everyone out. You know, we, we can't give away all our food. We can't give away all our resources. We can, we can some, but we can't all. You know, it's like it's like individually. You know, again, if you if you donate to charity, if you give food away, if you give money away, again, you can do so to a degree. But I mean, you can't give everything away, or you're gonna wind up in the same folk in the same position the folks are that you're trying to help. We have truly got to be honest about that. So again, we don't need help, everyone. We don't need to because it will cause us to 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 implode, to collapse. And uh, you know, again, if we do, if that causes our demise, then how can we help anyone? We can't. If we're in the same boat they're in, we can't. But again, we're listening to people, these leftist, you know, little bitch politicians. That's what we're listening to. And again, that has been what the problem has been. We're listening to these feminized wussy bitches. Um, build that wall. Are you willing to tear that wall down? No, I'm, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. Uh, uh, Lawrence, totally wrong. Now he's got to build it. He's got a secretary so, of state of Mexico City. He's got two mayors scrambling there. He's got Democratic governors criticizing him. He has no choice. So, Brian, that was during campaign season. Now we're at another campaign season. And now because right. it's become an election issue, they're altering their position on it. 20 uh, uh, miles of wall is a joke in the state of Texas. Do they know the terrain that we have here on the border? Uh, it's clear that the president has not visited the border because he would know that if they only put 20 miles there, that the cartel is only going to uh, redirect the migrants to go to a different direction. So, again, I, I think it is for uh, appearance only to show, hey, I am trying to do something. But at the end of the day, 20 miles of border is not going to solve the crisis that's at the southern border. Why does he not answer? Why, why wouldn't he sell the information as well as all the technology, as well as all the border fencing to the state of Texas when we tried to buy it? when it had already been paid for by U.S. taxpayers. Right. So, again, this has been not only been a president that has been <clears throat> asleep at the wheel on this issue, yeah. but he's been quite divisive as well when Texas tried to do the security <clears throat> ourselves. And sure. this is a little too late, right, Lawrence? I mean, this guy, we've already, millions and millions have come through, come over the border in the last three years since he's been president. He said, you know, I, we're not going to build any more wall. We're not going to build it because, again, it was during an election year. You know, he was running for president. And, uh, you know, people, they didn't want his supporters, a bunch of little girls, and did not want, you know, again, anything more built at that southern border. They wanted things torn down. You know, again, open the borders. Let everyone come in. Everyone come in. And we truly have got to understand again, that uh, we can't follow people like that. You know, we, we have got to get practical. We've got to understand that if we had that border open, <laughs> we are letting everyone come across. Every disease that these people have come across. You know, we're letting drugs come across. Sex trafficking. Everything is coming across the southern border, and we don't know. We are totally unaware of what's happening. So again, we have truly got to understand just because you want to pretend that you're, you know, so compassionate, so nice and so loving and so, oh, you're worried about all the poor people. Again, you're worried about those poor people, but you're not worried about the people that live down there that, you know, might be succumbing to all kinds of crime. You know, again, you're not worried about the, about the kids that are coming across the border. You know, the, the 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 kids that are being bought and sold in this country. And yeah, it's happening. You know, I you're not worried about the drugs coming across that southern border. You're not worried about that kind of stuff. Again, it doesn't matter to you. Because again, you're everything is high ideals. But no practicality whatsoever.
Italy said Biden sees our country as being invaded. What is he going to do about the 15 million people from prisons, from mental institutions, <clears throat> insane asylums, and terrorists that have already come into our country? You know, and, and Lawrence, I think you have hit the nail on the head, and that is it's all about politics. And right now, you know, there are Democrats who are uh, governors and mayors, and they are pounding this administration to do something. And in particular, the Republicans have been very effective talking about the amount of fentanyl coming into the country. There must be something about that particular area in Star County where a lot of, if I had to guess, and we don't have this information, I'm just speculating. If I had to guess, that's where a lot of fentanyl comes through. And so Joe Biden, who's going to be on the campaign trail through for the next uh, year and a uh, couple of months, he needs to say, you know what, we put up the wall where the fentanyl was coming in and I've reduced the rate. Because wait, wait, he walls needs, don't work. He, he needs uh, some talking points because right now when we roll the video and all the channels are rolling the video of the migration wave, Joe looks bad because the fentanyl is coming in and killing people. But they say it comes through ports of entry, number one. Number two is that that's what they claim. Number two is you can't tell everyone walls don't work, run on it, have your whole party prevent pre Trump from doing it, including strangling Paul Ryan saying we won't pass the budget unless you only agree to $1.4 billion, and then turn around and say one mile of wall work unless you're going to look into the camera and say I was wrong. I was wrong about what would be effective at the border, and I'm looking to uh, amend that. Also, he's taken on the environmental groups. Evidently, he's suspending 26 environmental laws in order to build that. So his environmentalists are now mad at him, and the horny toad or whatever grasshopper will no longer will be affected, or a cactus won't be able to spry up. Uh, to spring up in the or desert. Minnow. Yeah, or yeah, who knows? Not many of those. Things. Trump was right. He was right about this. Uh, we have truly got to recognize, man, I'm not saying all conservatives are right about everything, but for the most part, they are. They truly are. <laughs> you know, I, I know you left this, man. You like to believe you're better than everyone. You like to sit around, sniff your own farts, and talk about how virtuous you are, how smart you are. But you, you completely lack any kind of practicality. You do. And again, maybe if you shut your mouth and listen for a minute, you might understand some wisdom. I know it's low tech. I, I get that. But again, a border wall will work. Not on everything, but for the most part, it will work. We have truly got to understand that. But I mean, they were too busy trying to paint Donald Trump as some kind of a racist because he dared to say that dangerous people, they cross that border. And they do. I mean, again, last week when Elon Musk was down there, he was talking to somebody at the southern border. They were, they were talking about people that cross the border with teardrop tattoos, which, again, every teardrop tattooed on their face is, you know, somebody they killed. And again, they come into this country and they disappear. And we truly have got to understand, you know, again, Donald Trump, he warned us about this. He did. And again, most conservatives, they, they understood this. They understood what he was saying. They got it. You know, again, shut that border up. We, we had to do that. There, there's no way that we can keep this country going in the right direction by letting everyone in that southern border. There's no way. We have to have a secure border, and we have it. We have for a long time. I know the White House has this thing that it's all about image. But when you see the folks that are actually dropping dead in the communities, when you see the child trafficking rinks that are being advertised everywhere, even here in the state of Texas, when you see the migrants that are being camped out in communities from Chicago to Philly to New York City, Texas has been overrun. All our shelters have been overrun. So again, the pantries have been empty. Uh, the visuals just tell a different story here. They do. Guys, we need a real man back in the office. We do. You know, again, we we got to stop this liberal leftist bullshit because, again, that's really what it is. It's a bunch of damn bullshit. You know, 
we're going to somehow make ourselves stronger with this feminizing view. We get to feel bad for everyone. We get to feel bad for the migrants. We get to feel bad for the, the poor people in Chicago and Philadelphia and whatever. We get to feel bad. We can't understand why they're committing the crimes they're committing. We get, we got to give them a pass. No, we don't. We have got to understand the way the that this church was built and the way it became great was not that way. It was by allowing people to build for themselves, to build for their own families, themselves, their families, their communities. And that's how things got built up. They were looking out for themselves. And so doing, they were looking out for, the, for other people that they cared about. And that's what we have to bring back. We have to bring back, we have to bring back a cohesiveness to this country and allow people, tell people they can do what they want to do. If you want to build, if you want to make yourself great, go out there and make yourself great. No matter who you are, no matter what color your skin is, you can do it. You have full equality under the law. We need to shut this out of the mortar. And again, there's, I believe, probably only one guy that can do, that can do that, that can get this done. Again, I think it's Trump. I think it's truly Trump that can get that done. Because again, there's a there's a masculine nature to him, and that's something that we're that we're missing greatly in this country at this time. We are missing that greatly, and that is what built this country. We have got to understand that. And we're going the wrong way now. We are going the wrong way. But guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks.